हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल और आज की वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं चार्ट जीपीटी के ऊपर चार्ट जीपीटी हम हर जगह सुन रहे हैं चार्ट जीपीटी चार्ट जीपीटी राइट तो आज हम उसी टॉपिक के ऊपर बात करने वाले हैं और देखने वाले हैं कि कैसे हम चार्ट जीपीटी को प्रॉम्प्ट देके अपने सारे काम को करवा सकते हैं बेसिकली आज की वीडियो रहने वाली है प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग के ऊपर कि कैसे आप अपने प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग के टास्क को एग्जीक्यूट कर सकते हो कैसे आप इफेक्टिवली चार्ट जीपीटी थ्री या फिर चार्ट जीपीटी फोर को यूज कर सकते हो तो अगर आप इस जर्नी में जुड़ना चाहते हो तो डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड तो मेरी स्क्रीन पे आपको चार्ट जीपीटी दिख रहा होगा तो चार्ट जीपीटी के ऊपर हम आज वर्क करने वाले हैं और चार्ट जीपीटी के अलावा मैं आपको बताने वाली हूँ कि कैसे आप प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग पे वर्क कर सकते हो so let's get started that how to use the chat gpt effectively prompt writing and the extension guides i will be giving you there are multiple extensions that you can use and make your work easier sirf chat gpt pe directly ja ke prompt dena hi hamara target nahi hai chat gpt ko hum kaise aur cheezon ke liye use kar sakte hai kaise hum usse mail writing kara sakte hai kaise hum usse twitter ke followers ko bana sakte hai aur aisi bahut sari cheeze jo hum chat gpt se kar sakte hai ye koi limitation nahi hai is cheez ki इससे ही आप सब कुछ करवा सकते हो तो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू कि आप कैसे कैसे प्रॉम्प्ट्स देके कैसे कैसे आप इस पे वर्क कर सकते हो तो आज की वीडियो हमारी इसी टॉपिक पे रहने वाली है सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सबसे पहले हमें प्रॉम्प्ट देने के लिए हमें फाइव स्टेप्स का फॉलो करें फाइव स्टेप्स कौन कौन से हैं सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे चार्ट जीपीटी को एक रोल असाइन करेंगे ये फाइव स्टेप्स को आपको फॉलो करना है और इस फाइव स्टेप्स से अगर आप कोई भी प्रॉम्प्ट चार्ट जीपीटी को दोगे तो वो आपको इफेक्टिवली आपका करेक्ट आउटकम ही देगा तो फर्स्ट थिंग इज यट यू हैव टू असाइन अ रोल नाउ कैसा रोल राइट नाउ आई एम बेसिकली अ यूट्यूबर राइट सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ यूट्यूब वीडियो और आई एम ट्राइंग टू यू नो गिव सम नॉलेज टू यू सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू यू नो गिव इट अ रोल दैट वॉट रोल डू यू वॉन्ट योर चार्ट जीपीटी टू गिव सो सपोज यू वॉन्ट लाइक सपोज आई वॉन्ट लाइक एक्ट एज एन एक्सपर्ट स्टैंड अप कॉमेडियन सो यू हैव टू असाइन इट इन दैट मैनर सो यू हैव टू से दैट एक्ट एज अ सेल्स मार्केटर or you can say act as a, a bd business development executive or if you are a student and you are looking for like uh, assignments or something so you can say that act as a twitter or like something like full teacher or something you know as per your task you have to assign the role after assigning the role you have to define your task that which type of task are you going to give so here i have written i have gi- i will give you a word and you have to generate a summary so my task is just i will be giving you a long paragraph or might be a whole page of content and you just have to generate a sum summary out of it so accordingly you have to define your task after defining your task you have to add the constraint to your results which means that in what way you want it to generate is it going to be a formal way is it one? suppose i am a beginner and i am looking forward to learn a language programming language i suppose so you can give it a prompt that you have to act as a coding mentor and i will be telling you uh, like you have to act as a coding mentor and you have to start by explaining me the basics of python suppose you have to learn python so you will just write that particular language name as in your task then you will be adding the constant that i am a beginner or i am a newbie to this language kindly like you don't have to be be kindly you just have to say that you have to explain me in simple words so just like i have written formal way you can say that beginner i am a beginner explain me in simple words something like this will work for you now what is your text suppose you don't have text you are a newbie that you have already mentioned so what you can do is you can just mention particularly that this is what i am looking forward for and i have 30 days of times so or 40 days of times so whichever time like how much like you are going to you know invest in that particular thing you can use that i uh, suppose you are trying to you know publish books or something like that so you can give it a you know exact context what you want it exactly to do role has been done task has been assigned now you have to add the constraints after adding the constraints you have to go ahead with the con- uh, context to that particular chat gpt prompt then if possible you can provide an example also suppose uh, like that was an example of a beginner who is trying to learn python programming language तो सपोज आपको कोई और काम करवाना है आपको कुछ सेल्स के फनल्स को जनरेट करना है कुछ ऐसा टास्क को परफॉर्म करना है सो यू विल गिव एन एग्जांपल दैट सपोज दिस एन एग्जांपल सपोज एग्जांपल इज ऑफ एमेजोन आई एम ट्राइंग टू सेल अ प्रोडक्ट एंड एग्जांपल इज एमेजोन सो जस्ट टेल मी लाइक हाउ व्हाट इज द स्ट्रेटजी दैट आई कैन फॉलो एज पर 
the amazon's uh, like uh, my competitor is amazon so you can just you know provide an example if you are going to provide an example then chat gpt can easily relate it so that is how the scenario will go on this is how you will be writing the whole prompt i will show you few prompts that you can use suppose i am working on the nlp text generation i wanted to generate some text that is going to be nlp which is na la natural language processing in natural language processing what happens you will be giving a context and then i am trying to you know write an intro paragraph to the mystery novel my novel is this this is my you know i i already have prompted for this nlp text generation this is my task that i wanted to do and these are all my context and this is the context that i wanted to you know actually do i'm looking forward for a paragraph which is intro paragraph so this is how you have to be specific in each and everything second example is suppose i wanted to summarize everything so i'm just writing summarize this text following up with the content that you have and it will give you the content something like this suppose you have open domain question and you wanted to answer so suppose i'm saying when did apollo 11 land on on the moon so this is open ended question you can directly type it in the question format that we you know we already know how to generate the question how to write down the question so you have to just pass on that particular question to the chat gpt and it will give you the open domain question answers suppose you wanted to paraphrase so paraphrasing is basically rewriting the same context those who don't know so paraphrasing is something rewriting it so i'm writing rewrite this text you can use this as well or you can say rephrase it rephrase it and in the quotations you can write down whatever text you have so you can follow up this another is sentiment analysis if you are working on a data analysis role or something you know in technical and you wanted to analyze something you are selling a product or there is something like you know we call mood swings as well so this is few shots or zero shots i will show you suppose i have written over here that i love pizza i like pizza positive i don't like positive i don't like pizza negative sometimes i like pizza sometimes i don't neutral when i while the movie was good i sometimes so it was a bit dry so in sentiment analysis i have written a sentence i like pizza which is positive i don't like pizza negative sometimes i like pizza sometimes i don't neutral when while the movie was good i sometimes so it was a bit dry so this is my you know prompt to the chat gpt and i just wanted to you know perform some sentiment analysis that what exactly the analysis of this text is going to be so it will somehow will give you something neutral or will take up the particular sentence that you have written and will give you the response as per the sentiments that what was the emotions expressed in that particular thing if overall you are going to ask that what is the overall sentiment analysis then in, in this case it will give you that neutral and all so that is how it works another suppose you wanted to convert particular text into a table so that is also possible so what you have to do is you can say that suppose i'm saying sub summarize the text in this table in this table this is my all the text that i have shown you so this table contains four statements two of them expresses positive and negative opinions about two different subjects pizza and bananas i have added one more uh, thing over there so basically this is how it works now how to convert it you will just say create a table to this text so once you will say create a table from this text and you will pass on the text that you have you can easily generate a table like this which you can copy directly or take a screenshot or snapshot or like whatever you wanted to do with the table so that is totally possible on chat gpt another task that you can perform on chat gpt is token class classification now what is token class classification suppose i have a sentence in which i have mentioned multiple things suppose i am mentioning about myself that myself akansha and i have been living in india and i was i went to this particular place on that particular day when this war was going on something like that right so this is what i am trying to relate it with this particular sentence so here i have written that george washington and his troop cross the delaware river on december 25 during the american revolutionary war so this is something which consists of multiple things this consists of location this consists of uh, date and this consists of uh, events as well 
even the name of that person so what this token analysis will do it will just classify the name identities uh i tend to i entities it will just classify the entities into this text so here it is george washington is the name of the person this is the location and this is the date and this is the event this is how the token classification goes on so if you wanted to perform something like this you have to be specific basically saying that the classify the named entities in this text it means whatever entities or whatever items are being present in this particular sentence just classify them another is you can also ask to generate data data set generation is also possible you can say generate more data points from this text so this is zero this is one i am trying to say like uh, so it contain no with only characters communicate sometimes that the beautiful about the natural so basically i have written some context over here and which i am trying to you know generate a data points so here it will generate a data point saying all the conditions it will take it will take all the condition that whether it will it will link with that or not if it is linking it will say positive or negative that is how this context goes on another is machine translation you can translate a particular language sentence also into another language so if you wanted to do that you just have to say translate this text into this particular language and following up with the context that you have next is code generation as i gave you an example suppose you are trying to learn a language and you wanted to you know start from the basics so what you can do is you can give it a prompt saying that show me how to do this show me how to make a ht suppose this is a advanced example where i am saying that show me how to make an http request in python so you can write it down saying up with the you know this particular prompt you will get each and every step from the very basics that how to install particular library what to install where you can code everything it will include even the hashtags also will be there suppose now you don't want to you know start from the basics suppose you have something you know you have the code you have taken it from any website and you wanted to explain you just pass on the code saying that explain this code even you are not going to you know specify it it will take it but sometimes like it might you know get confused so just be specific about the programming language or whichever language code you are trying to write following up with the doc string description if you wanted to have the doc script description also you can use that programming language conversion is also possible suppose there is a code which is in python and i wanted to convert it into javascript so what i can do is i can just pass on the code and i can say that convert this code from python to javascript so this prompt can help me to convert programming language there is a possibility that you can do the data object conversion also suppose you have a json object and you wanted to convert it into xml then this is also possible you just have to write down a prompt convert this json object into xml and following up with the context that you have knowledge graph is also possible now knowledge graph consists of something like nodes and edge it will take entire sentence and will convert it into nodes and then on the edges like what was the node what was the you know core thing in, into it and what was in depth everything will be in the knowledge graph generation so this is how your knowledge graph generation looks like if you don't know about knowledge graph generation then don't worry might be it is not of you for your use so you can continue with the next html to text uh, is also possible like sometimes we we perform web scrappings from html to you know text to generate you know take up the content basically from the url so that is also possible you can also perform uh, you can also generate structured output suppose you want something in the format of list so be specific write a word list if you want something numbered then be specific write numbered list same way we have headings and some headings suppose i have a paragraph and i wanted to generate headings and subheadings for my school paragraphs or like school essay competition something like that then you can you be specific write it down that convert this text into headings and subheadings so if i uh, there is something called for uh, particular things in formal and informal so you can generate both the text just by being specific writing formals and informals unstructured output that is also possible suppose you want some uh, output in third person like in english we know how to if the third person is there then we will be using those particular nouns and pronouns and all so those things it will take care you just have to be specific that how to make brown yeah that you have to write a program on how to make brownie in the first person it means i am the first person i am speaking so i want my like i me my that is what it's going to use so you have to be specific and you have to tell the narrative no modes 
that in first second or third person mode in which mode you are expecting it to do suppose you are trying to you know write something on for the social media influencer or something like that you are looking forward for this uh, you know topics and all so you can do those also you can search on uh, chat gpt custom text manipulation is also possible right social media posts suppose you have a topic which is trending these days you can search that topic directly on it you can say write a tweet write an instagram post write a context or write a thumbnail content something like that if you will type it will generate the particular post for you you can even make it write blogs make it write emails make it write poems even even a song can help it. i have asked to write a you know folk song on sunset and with the guitar chords even it will give you the guitar chords as well you can ask us to write resumes and offer letters ask chat gpt about its own capabilities you can also ask chat gpt that what are the things that you can do for me what way can you structure text output what way can you uh, teach me python what way you can tell me about the strategies going on so those are the things that you can ask about the chat gpt there are some experting uh, promptings as well you can use several condition discussed i will show you about that so these till now we were discussing about the prompts that what are the prompts how to use the prompts what are the structure that you need to follow for going ahead Uh, if you are going to work on chat gpt then how you can prompt how you can write it down what are the five structures that you need to follow and what are the different things that you can ask your chat gpt to do now i will be showing you what are the different extensions that you can use to help you out suppose you want the chat gpt is limited right earlier the chat gpt version consist of only september 2021 data right so which was not sufficient for us because currently what is going on in the market is not not present on chat gpt so whatever uh, changes have been made after september 2021 was not present so what we can do is we can use the chat gpt data including the internet data so for doing that what you need to do is you need to get an extension called web chat chat gpt web chat gpt will take the data from internet web chat gpt will take the data from chat gpt and the internet and then will give you the result so this is very helpful extension even i am using this so i would recommend you to download it another is the chat gpt email if you wanted to use chat gpt to write an email so you can get a chat gpt writer extension which is a chrome extension you can just go and download it and add it onto your chrome that's it even you can use the twitter and you can use the chat gpt along with the twitter so you can have we have chat gpt plus twitter which is twitter gpt so this is also a chrome extension these all are the chrome extensions you can easily go on to the google and search for it if you wanted to find the prompts of suppose you are not able to get the desired output and you know about some things like i am uh, i know like uh, what i wanted to generate but i am not able to you know convey it to the chat gpt so that it can return effectively so you can use this prompt areas this is something you know prompt areas so this is how you can use it another one is chat gpt as search we are using normally on the chat gpt if you wanted to use chat gpt as search then we have web chat gpt so you can you know but, but make sure that if you wanted to find the prompt there is a prompt yes and if you wanted to use chat gpt as a search option then you can use web chat gpt which will give you both the results as i have mentioned above if you want your chat gpt to act as a siri and you wanted to you know do voice search you wanted to chat on it just like you know having a conversation with alexa or siri so you can do that with the extension called chat on ai chat on ai will help you in this So this was it for the today's video if you like it then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down your views we'll meet in the next video